For Ultimate Team Coins, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Their link is in the description below, a very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you get a discount on your coins. They also offer PSN, MSP, and other Game Gold as well. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 15 player prediction. Today we are looking at Ayen Robben. Uh, he's one of my favourite players in the game over the last few years in FIFA and I also really like him in real life. He's had like very inconsistent seasons for the last couple of years um, but he still has an 88 right midfield card for this year's game. Um, I want to thank you guys first of all for your support on these videos. Appreciate all the likes uh, that it gets. Of course some of the decisions are, are, that I make are controversial. Some people don't agree with them so they do get a fair few dislikes as well but that's totally understandable you know the, these uh, these FIFA 15 prediction videos are, are ones that can go either way but I appreciate every view and every like uh, and every comment on it anyway and uh, of course if you've got any players that you want to see me do specifically let me know either in the comment section or on Twitter so last season Rob N played 31 games scored 13 goals and picked up 13 assists he won the Bundesliga the DFB Pokal the Champions League and the, he was the Champions League final man of the match um, that was of course the 2012 2013 season of course in the 2013-2014 season Real Madrid went on to win the Champions League uh, Robben scored the winning goal in that Champions League final as well so he had a good season last season but this season as you can see he's played 45 games so he's played a, a lot more games he has scored 21 goals from that right mid to right wing position though and picked up 17 assists so he's had a, a very very strong season he also won the Bundesliga again the DFB Pokal again and he has so far achieved one World Cup man of the match so far and he's had a fantastic World Cup scoring arguably one of the best goals in this World Cup so far. Uh, there's been that Cahill goal, that James Rodriguez goal, uh, the Robin Van Persie header and then Robben's goal where he broke world records for pace and running um, which is just absolutely damn crazy. So with that in mind guys I have decided to upgrade Robben's card. I've gone for an 89 right midfield for the next season. I've kept his pace the same um, he is getting to that age now, uh, you know, like around 30, where he's hitting his prime. He's doing uh, the best that he possibly can. I don't, even though he broke that speed record in the World Cup, I don't think his pace will be enhanced just off the back of that. Uh, I've upped his dribbling to 93. I've upped his shooting from 85 to 88. And, you know, that's testament to scoring almost twice the amount of goals compared to last season and I've upped his passing from 80 to 82 again he's got more assists I know he played more games but he has played so much more consistent this season I've left defending and heading the same because it's just not what he's here for and I really think that 89 maybe even a 90 is a fair card for Robben a lot of the people that have sent me in their cards have done 90s for Robben I personally believe an 89 is more than acceptable. Um, I think he's going to have another fantastic season next season. Uh, on top of the fact that Holland have got a really strong chance of winning the World Cup. For me, they're, they're looking the best team right now, to be perfectly honest with you. I really like the way they're playing. They're playing really nice attacking play. They've got really good attacking players anyway. Obviously, Robben, Van Persie, Depay. Like, they're playing really nice football. And if Robben goes on and wins the World Cup or even has another couple of great games... I can only imagine that his card might be influenced a bit more in FIFA 15 off the back of that. So there is my card prediction, guys. Iron Robin at an 89. Let's move on to your guys' predictions. So the first players we've got, Ali Sufan says, My Robin card, FIFA 15 foot. He has given him a 90 rating. He's given him 93 pace. I can understand why some people might upgrade his pace after watching him in the World Cup. Uh, that he's also given him 93 dribbling. He's only upgraded his shooting to 86 and has put his passing to 82, as have I. So very, very similar stats to what I think he's going to be next season as well. And then Baz says, this is my Robin prediction. He has also given him 90 rated right midfield and 93 pace. He has upgraded his dribbling to 95, which I think is a bit too high. And I'll tell you for why that might be a bit too high is because you've got to, you've got to expect that EA don't want to, uh, like outdo themselves in day one and I mean that in a sense of team of the years team of the seasons informs and man of the matches if you give Robin something like 95 dribbling and, he's, and he has an inform that's 96 dribbling and then a team of the year that's 98 dribbling and then another inform that's going to be 99 dribbling and then what about for his team of the season you can't give him 100 dribbling so I, I don't think his dribbling will be so high 
but I think the rest of the card could be quite accurate. Passing and shooting, I would up a little bit more. He has scored a lot of goals. He's got a rocket of a shot on his left foot. Of course, he's got those four-star skill moves and two-star weak foot. Um, but the rest of the card, very similar to what I've got, very similar to what Ali Sufan has also got. And as we move on to the last two cards from you guys, once again, Jonathan gives him a 90-rated right midfield, which seems to be what everyone's going for. 93 pace, which again seems to be what everyone's going for. 94 dribbling he's bumped up to with 86 shooting and 81 passing. Again, all, all, all the cards we've looked at today, my opinion and the four opinions of the others, and when we get onto Miguel's card, they could all be correct. You know, that it's he's had such a great season that it's undoubted that he's going to get a, a upgrade. I personally think, like I said, it's going to be an 89 rather than a 90. But the stats are very much similar, um, even though the card rating is uh, one, one point off. And then we look lastly at Miguel's card. He's also given him 93 pace and 93 dribbling. He's given him 87 shooting and then strangely 87 passing and 69 heading. Massive, massive increases for his passing and heading. I don't quite think it's going to be that high for him, um, but you never know. You never know. He has had a good season. He's improved all areas of his game. And for me now, he is at the top of his game. So you never know what EA might do. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Next up, we are looking at Frank Ribéry in tomorrow's 3am video. So if you want to see your card on screen, then make sure you tweet me what you think your Frank Ribéry card will look like using Foothead's card creator. This is going to be the end of the video, guys. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace. Yay. And we still had no green cards. I want to do another skip back. Pow. Yes. Yes, we got one. Oh, wow. That's what's up. We get a duplicate, but we got one. I don't care that it's a bad one. Rafael Marquez, the ex-Barcelona centre mid.